come on. Good job, Bob. Well, what can we say? We've been hunting out of ground blinds, tree stands, hiking mountains, crawling, crawling through swamps, and now it's waterfall season. Yes, mm -hmm. and the best thing about waterfall season is we can sit there, chit chat, drink coffee, or hot cocoa, have Friendly. have snacks. Um, don't worry about scent control. And Nothing. Just have a fun yeah. time sitting in a in a blind and just enjoying yourself. And we're down in Kansas hunting with Garrett and the guys, name the game outfitters. And I'm going to tell you something. Wow. They, you know they were saying, guys, it might be a little slow. You just the weather, the birds, and we we didn't have a slow minute. Oh, it their was, senses must be insane. Oh They're, my gosh. Eyes and their ears. They, oh yeah, they, they could hear saw everything stuff. from miles away. We're all talking in the duck in and the also blind. Like, hang on. Hey, shh, wait, what? It yep. was crazy. But I'm Vicky. I'm RJ. And I'm Ralph. And this is a choice. We are heading to Kansas for some goose hunting. We have cookies. My hair is frozen. We got the dogs. We got a full crew this time, six people, and uh, we're gonna knock some birds out of the sky. So let's get going. The door's locked. Well, guys, this is it. We're uh, we're heading to Kansas to hunt with Garrett. We're doing some waterfowl hunting. Uh, ducks, geese, everything open up tomorrow. So instead of us going the week before, he was like, "Guys, why don't you stay? Why don't you wait if you can?" and uh, head back then and then we could shoot a bunch more birds. Well, we got a big cooler. We're gonna try to fill it. The crew is headed to Kansas to hunt with Name the Game Outfitters. It's waterfowl season and these guys know how to get the job done. After the first year of being in business, word got out about the operation and business has exploded ever since. Upon arrival, the Ciencerulos catch up with Garrett and Cole to get a game plan for the hunt. Well, we're going to, uh, <clears throat> we're gonna go check out a couple ponds that, uh, Cole has been scouting all week. Um, he's been keeping an eye on everything, but it's been warm most of the week. So we're gonna go back and basically check a lot of the spots that he's been scouting just to see if anything's changed. We've already got a game plan for tomorrow morning. We're, we've already got a pond picked out that uh, they've been scouting. What do you said, what, 250, 300 birds on? Yeah, give or take. All right, guys, we're, um, we've been scouting all evening. We actually split up. Me and Cole went one direction, and my other two guys went the other direction. We had a little bit of time this evening to scout. We already had a game plan, but uh, we just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything else in the area that you know was holding more birds. And me and Cole actually found a pond over here that's got about five, six hundred birds on it. So I think we made sure to try to change up the game plan for tomorrow morning. What are you thinking? Yeah, the pond we got looking at now has got feed and water. It's supposed to be kind of cloudy, overcast, nasty tomorrow. So. Yep. So it should have be the, a good day for have it. the best of both worlds, and whatever got, they want. And we got a good hide over there. So with as many guys as we got, it's gonna look like it's gonna work out pretty good. And that's really something that makes scouting, especially here where we're at in Kansas, so important is the weather changes so drastically, yeah. so fast. Uh, a week ago, we had snow on the ground and all the ponds were froze up, uh, which makes the birds act a completely different way than they are now in this warm weather. They can go to any piece of water, all the fields are thawed, they can eat real well. and. You know, it, it really changes things. So staying out on the roads and really following them, learning their habits, you know, it really pays off in the end. Yeah, we've been burning the tires down, just trying to put a pattern on them. But just like I said, the weather, it throws a wrench in everything. The patterns just, it makes it tough. But we got some stuff put together. We got a good loaf pond for the morning. We're gonna get up and hopefully get some food with a little bit of rain in the morning and uh, get back to that pond and hopefully we smash them. Yeah. Ralph, Vicki, RJ, and the crew are packing up and heading out to meet up with Name the Game Outfitters for their first morning out in the blinds. All the work the outfitters put in scouting should have everyone bringing home some birds. Well, it's our first morning here in Kansas with Garrett and the boys, and we're, uh, it's Name the Game Outfitters, and these guys, they are the waterfowl gurus of Kansas, and we're having, we, we had fun, we had dinner last night, got in late, um, talked, figured things out, and now he actually has some of the boys already are out setting things up. We're gonna go get some coffee for them and us. Please, Vicky, thank you. Vicky would kill me if we yes, didn't have coffee. I need coffee. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna have some fun. This morning we're actually headed into our spot. I've got a, uh, I've got my guides out there working right now. They're, uh, they actually got there about an hour early. We thought there was going to be ice on the pond. It got a little cold last night. Got down to about 22, but uh, we had enough wind. It kept it open all night, so it ended up not having any ice. So the guys got there about an hour, hour and a half earlier than 
what we need to be. So they're already setting up decoys and, and uh, brushing in the, the A-frame blinds. So it's pond we're hunting. Had about uh, about three to 400 geese on it yesterday. So it ought to be a pretty good hunt. It's been warm the last couple days, so the geese hadn't been feeding real hard. They've been loafing on the ponds most of the day. So um, got a perfect win for the setup. I think we ought to we ought to be able to do pretty good this morning. So uh, stay tuned and we'll uh, see what we can make happen. The name The Game Crew has been out setting up blinds and decoys all before sunrise, prepping for the first morning of waterfowl hunting. You need a game plan for a successful hunt, and that's just what these guys have. Garrett and Jake give Ralph and his crew the rundown to make sure everyone can work together as one team. Because at the end of the day, teamwork makes the dream work. There's a good reason why you come with Name the Game. Garrett and the guys, look at this. They got a generator, they got lights, they're setting up, the blinds are set, they got the decoys. They got everything you can imagine. They're working as a team. This is pretty incredible. Yeah, yeah we're gonna get these, these trucks hidden and uh, okay. see if we can get some ducks in early, huh? Oh, buddy. <laughs> I shot my gun. I'm so impressed. You don't understand. I shot the gun three times now. I never shoot my gun when I walk on Never. And I actually think I, I hit that one. since what time did we get out here six it was before it was still yeah, dark yeah. out we set up all the decoys. they were setting got up everything, all, everything set up. by the but before we got here got everything set up we've been sitting here drinking some coffee eating some donuts and i think we have 19 19 geese down canada's and speckles yep so that's what's going on right now there's plenty of us sitting in these blinds i don't even know how many people are here but we can get Six Canada a piece and two specs. So we still have more to shoot, so and there's some coming in right now, so I gotta go. Bye. I can't. As the first sit draws to a close, everyone pitches in to pack up and tear down the blinds. 
A successful waterfowl operation of this magnitude requires a considerable quantity of equipment. The blinds and decoys alone take up an entire trailer, but are all a key part of bringing home this many birds. It's a cool morning. That's what it's all about, and the camaraderie and everyone together having a blast. Yeah, this, this ain't a sport. It's a tra yeah. tradition and a heritage. This is only the first stop for the team. And with success like this, everyone looks forward to the next hunt. Oh, it has been a fun morning here in this hunting with Name the Game Outfitters. Here in Kansas, we've got 30 geese down. That's a lot of goose roll ups. And you know what? Now we're packing it all up. Everyone's out here cleaning everything up. And we'll set it back up again tomorrow morning and see what happens. It is a waterfowl morning. It's miserable. Yeah. It's raining. It's 37, 38 degrees. But we're pumped. We're going waterfowling. Hopefully, the plan today is uh, we got a, a northeast wind. Falling around north and south. So they should come right up the chute from the south. Hopefully we can get them to push as far up to the north side of the spread as we can. That way when they do flare, they'll flare across the, the whole blind, line up all the all the shooters and dump them heavy right in front. But should be a good shoot as long as the wind keeps up. If we can get this to stay at 10 mile an hour, cloudy, rainy, that'll be a banger. Well, we got all the decoys out. Okay, we didn't, the guys got all the decoys out and um, they're getting ready. We're gonna pull the trucks out of here. We're all gonna get inside the blind. And hopefully, like they were just saying, the wind's gonna stay just enough to keep these geese flying in and maybe flaring, coming back through as they flare out. We should be able to go and take them. So hopefully it's gonna be a great goose hunt this morning. About to go over the power pole. Pretty great, split them. <sighs> Mounter right there, brother. Oh. You mount that one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, uh, the guys anticipated to be a little better than what it was and, and what they already seen a bunch of other feeds. So what's so awesome is the guys, they have so much area. I mean, in so many different ponds and lakes that they said, what we need to do is back up shot about like 14 16 birds something like that and we're gonna we're heading south about an hour and a half to two hours away so there's no rest of the wicket because from here we're going to pick up something to eat on the way and then we're either going to set another spread up or we're going to be sitting for the rest of the afternoon is that a male? either side of that point where here. they're going to try and land so would you set up in that point well kind of right now because we're hunting a field edge i want to be back off these birds just a little bit just a little bit. The edge, I like to have a shot at about 25 or 30. Rather than if we were hunting in the middle with dug in layout blinds or a pit or something like that, I'm putting that kill hole on me. I mean, five, right 10 yards. 
decoys around us everywhere like that. This one want to get a little bit farther off this head. But this should work. I mean, it's exactly what we saw last night. Uh, just replicate what you saw, right? Yeah, yeah. Tell you what, we're learning more and more from these guys every scene, every time we're here, just because it's so fascinating. You know, you, you look at a spread and you're like, oh yeah, there, there's a lot of science to it, but the science comes yeah. from experience, from doing it. And like they said, is they saw this whole feed yesterday. They're laying out exactly how those birds were yesterday. No, it's fail proof. All we gotta do is hit them. Well, this is day two out here with Name the Game, and uh, I would say that we had a pretty good afternoon. This is the first time we went out in the afternoon, and <laughs> once they started coming, they just kept coming. It's like I can see everything in these yellow glasses. Well, the, the yellow brightens it up just like yeah. dri or driving glasses at night. Yeah, yeah. You know what's crazy is for years, and, and, and I am part to blame, I am, is, you know, didn't use ear protection, didn't use right. goggle, you know, glasses. You just went out and shot and had but a good they, time. They but they didn't promote it that yeah. back in the day. You but know, now, I mean, thank God, with all the new technology, I mean, look at earbuds. Yeah. Who, who would ever thought? You can listen to music. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really shooting cool. and protecting your ears. But on a serious note, hearing protection and eyeglasses you know, safety glasses, it's a pretty a pretty big thing, yes, especially when very. you're taking the kids out there. Teach them early to always have ear protection, hearing protection on, because I mean, they'll grow old and get like rough where you can't hear mm -hmm. anything, huh? you know? So Be hey. Be sure to wear your earring protection. Protection. Earring. Ear, your earring protection. Earring protection. Earring protection. Earring. Garrett, all you guys down there Name the Game Outfitters in Kansas. Thank, thank you guys nice. so you much, much for letting us come down there and hang out with you for a few days in the duck blinds, in the waterfowl blinds, drinking coffee. Laughing, just having a great time. Having and I mean, here's, here's the thing, you know, we've, you've gone through all of hunting season, you're trying to do something a little bit different. You want to do something with the family. There's nothing better. Oh, yeah. I'm I mean, telling we're you. We're all piled up inside those blinds. And <laughs> if you want to dress super warm, if you don't need the, I mean, just no matter what, the they heaters got heaters, in there. they got stoves awesome. to cook. I mean, here it is. This is what you want to do. You want to take that family out and do some waterfowl. Give Garrett and them the call because I'm going to tell you, it's a blast. It was a lot of fun, and we came home with a lot of goose meat for the yeah. goose roll-ups. Yeah. The roll-ups. So awesome. Vicky's mom's favorite thing, the roll-ups. Yeah, you, well, yeah, you eat them a my lot. Favorite? It's pretty close to my favorite, but I don't know if it's my favorite. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, thanks for making your choice. The choice. See you next week. <laughs>